Hey, it's Clay Trader, and I'm going to do a, a quick little lesson here on honoring your stop losses and kind of try to get into the psychology of it a little bit and why, although it can be kind of uh, irritating and frustrating at times, uh, there is a reason for it. And, um, you know, one mistake where you don't honor it can really um, put you deep into the hole. And I want to kind of illustrate that um, with an example today where I, um, you know, one of those frustrating times where I honored the, uh, my stop loss. And then, you know, just to see the stock kind of reverse back up on me where I could have made some really good money. Um, but then I'm also going to show an example from yesterday uh, where if I hadn't honored the same sort of scenario, I would have really been burned and um, it would just wouldn't have not, it would have probably ruined my whole month. Um, but before I get started, I just want to note that, you know, no shenanigans going on. Today is May 28th of uh, 2009. Um, so this is all, you know, from today and yesterday. So with that being said, um, just to kind of set up my strategy, uh, what I like to do is play SKF, which is a leveraged uh, short ETF, meaning whenever this guy right here, the XLF, which monitors the financial uh, sector, goes up, uh, the SKF goes down, and whenever um, XLF is going down, SKF goes up. So easiest way to remember that is whatever direction XLF is going, SKF is going the other direction. So I like to monitor this while I play SKF. And uh, just to set up the scenario, um, there had been a nice up move here in the stock. And then we had this pullback here, as you can see. And then this, um, let me take a step back, and we're talking about a five-minute chart here. So this is from a day trading perspective, I should note. Um, you know, this is not a daily chart or weekly chart. This is five-minute. Uh, which means each one of these bars represents five minutes of price action. But anyways, like I said, there had been a nice move up. And then there's a pullback. Uh, we have the, had the 50 period, simple moving average swooping underneath here. And these uh, candles were all just uh, sitting right on top of it. So what I started to do was I thought this would bounce back up. So because I thought it would bounce back up, that means I thought the SKF would go down. Therefore, I started to build a short position in SKF. So let me bring up that. So right in this period here, on the SKF, as you can see why I'm not talking about the SKF, I started to build a short position. Um, because like I said, I thought the XLF was going to experience some strength, which would cause this to go down. So to hop back over to the XLF, like I was saying, I had built up a nice um, position over an SKF where I had gone short. And then to my disappointment, it broke out to the downside of this pattern. So right here, I decided to cover my, my short position on SKF, which you can see here. I was hoping this would go down, and then here, boom, boom, it just broke out to the upside. And this green line just represents, represents the same spot over on the XLF chart. So as I said, you know, that when the XLF was going down, you can see that the SKF is going up. So right here, I covered. And, you know, I took about a, a I was up about $700 on the day, and um, after that, I was down to about flat, or maybe even, uh, I think it might have been down 100 bucks or so. So keep this in mind. So I just covered, and I thought, okay, that's good, because now it's tanking, and then this is what happens. It bounces back up like I thought it would, and right there, this move, now let's look what happened on the SKF, which I had been shorted. So I had shorted up here, and I covered when it had broken out. And then look at that thing just fall apart on me. That could have been a huge money maker for me right there had I just said, okay, you know what, let me just wait. Let me just uh, hold out. Let me just see what happens here. That move right there would have been um, a nice profit producer, and it would have been, uh, you know, I would have felt good. So this was this point in the day, the psychology was, oh, you know, I should have just hung on. Um, next time I'm going to hang on, um, you know, oh, shoot, you know, I was just very mad at myself. If I had a punching bag, I would have probably went Mike Tyson on it. Now let's go back a day or so ago. And remember, this is why you want to honor your stop losses. So same situation. Nice move up. We got a pullback. And now we're getting some sideways action. So now I did not play this, so this is, um, you know, this isn't, uh, me, but this uh, sets up the same kind of psychology. Right here again, move up, pulling back, starting to go sideways. You could easily 
and be justified to build start to build a short position in SKF. Once again, we had the 50 period moving average sitting right here. So it was providing some nice support and you could have said, okay, I'm going to go build a short position in, X, in SKF because I think this is going to break out to the upside. And that would have been a legitimate, you know, theory. I mean, that everything would have held you uh, for a technical analysis. So let's hop over to SKF real quick and see what this looks like. So here, you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to start to build a short position here because I think it's going to break and fall to the downside because I think the XLF is going to go up. So that's what the chart would have looked like. You know, it's it's been moving down. Here's a little, you know, up move. I don't think there's too much strength. You know what, that would have been fine. Now let's go back over the XLF. And here we get our breakdown. And let's say you don't um, honor your stop loss and you decide to hang on. You're thinking, okay, good thing I good thing I decided to hang on. We're bouncing back up here. And then you get this nasty candle. And then check out that volume. Not what you want to see. Then you see this. And at this time, you're probably about to sell maybe, but you're like, you know what, I just got a hammer candle here, so I'm going to hang on. Got a hammer candle, that's good. And keep in mind, you could have cut your losses up here, but now your losses are even bigger, so you're thinking, okay, I want to hang on, I got a hammer candle. Then you get that, you're like, okay, not too bad. Then that's not looking too great, and then you get this. And by this time, you're probably, you know, throwing stuff through windows or whatever. And as you can see, the rest of the day, it never recovered from that. It just went uh, down further. So, sure, the previous or uh, today, you know, you could have made some money because it broke down and went up. And, you know, you'd have made some nice money. But imagine if you wouldn't have honored this and then just rode that down. That could have wiped out a whole month's worth of gains or depending on your strategy. Um, you know, I'm not talking about dollars and cents here. I'm just talking more about the psychology and rules of why you want to do that. Because just because just one scenario happens to bounce back up, you always got to wonder the question mark. What if it doesn't and you get a move like this? I mean, it's, it's well worth just cutting your losses short then letting something like this take hold of you and, you know, wipe out, you know, like I said, month or cut your month's gains in halves, or if you're already in the hole, put you even deeper in a hole. I mean, it's just not a good scenario, especially when you look at the SKF. Remember, imagine that you had been short here and you thought, okay, I'm just going to hang on. So you had shorted here. I'm just going to hang on. It's got to come back down, got to come back down. You see that dip, you start to get a little excited, and then it just takes off on you the rest of the day. Once again, you know, sure, over here, uh, when it happened, you know, it had broken out, and you thought, uh-oh, and then it came back down and would have worked for you, but look at that if you had not honored your stop loss, so um, it's just uh, well worth keeping your stop loss, and also, although I got burned here, I did want to also show this, and once again, um, you know, today is... May 28th, but like I said, I had I was up and then I got put down in the hole a little bit, and then right here, um, I ended up with um, you know a little over 500 bucks for the day. So I was able to fight back, but um, you know, could you imagine if I had been stuck in that thing yesterday and not honored the stop loss and had it gone against me? Sure, I still could have made 500 dollars today, but what happens if I'd have lost 5,000, 6,000 dollars, you know, yesterday? It, it just when it's not worth it when you look in the overall picture of things. So um, and that's the other thing, you know, I bounced back up and I thought, oh, I could have made so much money, but you know what? I was still able to make money on the day, not as much as I could have, but it's just, it's, it's more beneficial to honor your rules. That's kind of the moral of the story I'm getting at here is, um, don't let an event like this discourage you and say, hey, next time I'm going to hold on because I think it's going to pull one of these because what happens if it pulls one of these on you? I mean, that's that's nasty, and that's not good for anybody. Uh, so I hope you uh, learned something. Don't get discouraged when your stop losses get knocked out because, you know, you could have, once again, one of these situations where it goes and then just never comes back. And, you know, that's one, one move like that can really uh, psychologically and also, you know, financially put a hurt on you. So um, just make sure you always honor those stop losses. And hope you learned something. Hope this made sense. And, um, you know, once again, I'm just going to say it again honor those stop losses and, um, you know, maybe some short-term frustration, but in the overall picture, you'll be glad you did. Thanks for listening.